Okay, quick update on the rocket design. So same basic thing from last launch. Um, same nose cone, just a little light thing in there. Uh, 36 inch parachute. Electronics are in there, just the Raspberry Pi and IMU. GoPro holder. Um, I beefed up one of these legs to a quarter inch. These are, I think, three millimeters, eighth of an inch. Um, added a little uh, crossbar. This is supposed to prevent twisting a little bit. Added a couple guards because uh, when this falls, it snaps everything. Um, I epoxied up the spin mount here. Makes it nice and strong. Made the uh, screws a little stronger. Uh, three fins. So CP is here. Uh, CG, depending on which motors, you know, I got about an inch or two, so, you know, a quarter to a half caliber of stability. Um, and then same story on the motor mount, kind of cool. Got three degrees of freedom, so this guy will move up and down for roll, go in and out, you know, pretty cool. Um, taped everything up, but that's the deal. So basically minimal changes. These are G8 motors in there. Um, Nothing too special, 20 second burn. So let's see how it did. Let's do a little bit of flight analysis. So first, when this takes off, uh, one good thing is both motors launch simultaneously. So I had a nice little parallel rig of the igniters and that went well. But mistake number one is uh, the control loop doesn't activate till it has like a jerk up. So when it starts to tilt this way, the thrust vector control does not respond. So I could have, I don't know, updated the control loop to if it tilts or it starts moving. A lot more sense of a start right away. So when it finally goes up, then you see like the motors are kick out a little bit to the side and it starts to compensate. So that was the first mistake. Um, let's see. Here's me and my daughter, two four. So um, the motor or the rocket or the recovery is nice too. Right there, so I'm happy. That's not, that's not too bad. So it's going pretty well here. It's going fairly straight up, uh, but it's windy. So the second mistake was launching on a windy day and it was right into the wind. Um, that was Is that just like uh, SpaceX? It's not able to keep you got a tracker on it? Uh, with the wind. So the spin control algorithm is pretty good. So minus 200 and like 2 degrees out there. Minus 2, minus 2. So it's actually done a pretty good job compensating for roll, and it's really stable. So I'm pretty happy with my spin control. And you can see it wasn't flipping around. You know, this part did it for um, Third mistake is just this high turn where like, I'm integrating the air. I think it's too high. Um, you see what happens? Like right here at 16 seconds, the roll, the pitch is going way up, and it doesn't even react for like four seconds. And that's because the high turn is too high. So I might have to ignore the high turn. Because this really just didn't even compensate. Um, and then finally, like, I didn't have enough control. Um, so I, the limit was five degrees, and it just doesn't have enough torque to push back on, uh, you know, this roll that wants to go higher, either whatever offset wind 
whatever. So stronger motors would have increased the torque. Having a larger distance between the motor and the center of gravity increases the torque, or having a lower inertia. All those things would have uh, allowed for more uh, strength and uh, angle control. But uh, that's the analysis for this flight 